the two last benign lesions that I want to mention, hemangiomas, you see how beautiful are these lacunas, red lacunas, and dermatofibroma. This is the prototype of what you can see in a dermatofibroma, white, white scar-like depigmentation of this in the center and a delicate network at the periphery. Look how beautiful are these lacunes, sharply demarcated blue to red lacunes in this hemangioma, also here we see sharply demarcated lacunes, also a little bit of white, white veil, which is not uncommon in, uh, in hemangiomas, but especially in angiokeratoma. Here this is an example of an angiokeratoma with a blue-white veil, but uh, the sharply demarcated uh, red lacunes at the periphery are allowing the correct diagnosis. Another example of blue-white veil together with uh, uh, red to uh, purple lacunes, easy to uh, angiokeratoma, easy to diagnose. Here, instead we see a completely uh, irregular lesion in terms of overall architecture. We see a lot of uh, blood, but the lacunes are not sharply demarcated. We see also some kind of pigment at the periphery. This is not a lesion I like. This is nodular melanoma. This is another type of angiokeratoma. It's a thrombosed angiokeratoma where the lacunes are black, but look at the sharp demarcation of these uh, large thrombosized lacunes. Here another example of angiokeratoma with thrombosed black and sharply demarcated lacunes. And here another example of an angiokeratoma with partial thrombosis. You see some kind of uh, black sharply demarcated lacunes together with uh, bluish and red lacunes. Here dermatofibroma, the prototype, uh, white center and delicate network at the periphery. Uh, white center, a little bit of vessels, but uh, still this kind of network delicate at the periphery. Sometimes instead of the network at the periphery, you can see this kind of uh, globular uh, structures, rhomboidal structures at the periphery of this uh, dermatofibroma. And also here you see that uh, intermingled with this whitish area, we see again globules. Uh, this is a dermatofibroma, which of course can be uh, easily diagnosed also clinically because of the dimpling sign. But look at this lesion, again overall architecture, I don't like it, it's an asymmetric lesion, there is a whitish area in the center, but look at the network at the periphery, this is not delicate as we expect to see in a dermatofibroma. So this is a network we can see in a melanocytic lesion, and if this uh, asymmetric lesion is a melanocytic lesion, most probably this is a melanoma as it was uh, histopathologically. So, this was what I wanted to share with you concerning benign lesions in order to improve our expertise, our knowledge about benign lesions, we have to look continuously to all the banal looking lesions we, we see in our practice in order to train our morphology brain and you will see that uh, you will be able to improve your expertise in a very, a very short time. So, uh, remember, overall architecture is spe and specific clues, this is the way to do. And with this, I thank you for your attention.